portion of a Gentile cemetery has fallen into disrepair. There are broken and rusted headstones in the old section of Mount Olivet, but it doesn't stop there. Paul Dudley has more from one man fed up with the poor condition of the cemetery. He says he wants it restored. This fence separates you from 100 years of history. Catering mostly to the African American and Creole communities, Gentilly's Mount Olivet Cemetery first opened in 1918. Oliver Turo's father is buried here. He has fond memories from when he used to come here as a child and later as a young adult when he sold grave sites. Oh, it was beautiful. Everything was clean, flowers was all over the place. Now, the newer part of the cemetery is in great shape. The older section is not. Now, because the cemetery is private, we had to shoot everything from the sidewalk. But even with a limited view, it is obvious that this cemetery has certainly seen better days. We have broken graves. We have broken headstone, mud that has gone down as deep as probably where the burial is. The cemetery said they are in charge of maintaining the grounds, but not individual grave sites unless the family is paid for care. Otherwise, it's up to the families of the deceased. But that's where things get tricky. A lot of families have um, died off, you know, moved away. A lot of people don't know that they own a tomb or a coping. Amanda Walker with Save Our Cemetery says this is not uncommon in most New Orleans cemeteries. The group does have some tools to help, including information on getting the cemetery on a national registry, which could allow for more funding. But just getting a hold of people who now own sites is going to be tough. It's a process to find out if who owns the tomb. It's a very lengthy process. Lasts up to 25 years. It's a challenge, but Turo now at least has a starting point. All of the ones who have papers on these properties here stand with me and put this cemetery back the way it was. Paul Dudley, Eyewitness News. For more information on the project, you can contact Save Our Cemeteries. Just check for the link on our website, wwltv.com.